what up guys this is pastor canavi again we're coming up with another video tonight uh we're going to be doing uh, a small application um you know getting all the files from the directory so um yeah so we're going to start and please <clears throat> before we start please uh subscribe to the channel for more videos and hopefully this video is pretty helpful to you let me give you the uh the the result the final result of the of the application um let's see this is how it's going to look like we're going to be working on this one so we're going to have a, a button where it's going to brow browse you click on that and then you're going to check like you know look for the folder which folder do you want to uh, get all the files so let's go to my documents okay uh, do okay and that's what it shows right here right and then you get get all files i want to see how many files i have in there click on get all files it gives gives you all those different files that i have on my on my documents so right here it shows list of files right and that's all the files that we have and then there is 340 on my documents 340 files now let's uh change that let me go see on my um on my downloads how many files do i have okay click on that i got my downloads right here and then let's get get all files and i have list of files this is right there and i have 193 file uh files total right here yeah, I got a bunch of files. I got to clean up my computer. But anyway, so this is what we're going to be working on. And this is a small application right here with uh, Windows Form. All right. Cool. Let's start. So we're going to need, uh, we're going to need the button. Uh, where are you, button? Right here. Bam. We're going to, we're going to need a text box. Where are you, text box? Right here, right there. And then we're going to need another button. It's going to be two buttons. Uh, right there. And then we're going to need a rich text box. Because that's where we're going to be printing all the files and stuff. Um, where are you? Okay, bam, right there. All right. So let's kind of organize it right here. Let's put it right there. Let's kind of um, yeah, let's just extend a little bit more. Uh, bottom two. Our um, text, rich text, because we need all of those files. Let me just extend right here. Just a little bit bigger. Okay, right there. So now let's change the name of our button right here on the size and properties. So the name is going to be, let's put browse. That's what we browse. Okay. Now as a default, we can just do uh, for our um, text box. Where are my text box? Let's see. Right there. We can just do um, our default for the text box. We can do, um, let's see, one second. Pen. I just look in my notes really quick. Uh, I guess I just kind of. let me just copy i got a default yeah let's copy right here the path c drive back backlash back what is it backslash desktop okay all right that's what we have and then and also let's change the name for the for here oh that's not that we'll just go back to there Where's the design? Design, let's change the name. Where are you, design? Wait, 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 where are you? 
let's see. Did oh right here. So you know what? Let's just let's just do text box one. Yeah, let's just keep as it is. Just simple. Now in this button right here, let's pull get all files. Let's change the text. Uh, get all files. Okay, pan. So we have it. All right. So this does nothing for for us yet. Um, yeah. Yeah, they do nothing. Okay. Let's uh, let's work on this. Um, okay. Oh yeah, the the uh, rich text box. We're not changing the name either for that one. We're going to leave it as it is. The name is rich text box one. Okay. Okay, we're going to keep it that way. All right, let's click on the button right here. Double click, it will take us um, right here to our uh, method for button one click. So this is where every time we click in this button, it will give us the directory. So let's do that. We're going to be using a folder folder browse dialog browse oh yeah we have it right there and we're going to give it the name of di you can just give it whatever name you can uh, we're going to say new uh, we have browser dialog and then parentheses open and closing and then semicolon and then we got if if di that show dialogue show dialogue dialogue I, mean, I can't even pronounce that there are some words I cannot pronounce man it's kind of kind of hard for me but you know if di dot show dialogue equals equals to dialogue uh, dialogue result okay so we're going to one the dialog to do the to the the button to do the following so text text box one that text equals di dot select select path so what's going to happen is this um, save that so right here so we're creating right uh, when we click the button when the button is click it will open up the the dialog right like like the the this what is the window yeah and then and then um and then we're going to select because the text box one that's the text box that we we have so we are going to select whatever we select is going to stay on the text box okay let's uh, go ahead and do that browse okay right here and then whatever we select let's go documents Bangs. okay that's how my documents right there okay cool that is working as expected now let's go to the bottom uh, two so let's go right here okay that's what we want now right here so every time we click so first we click on the browse we select the folder where all the files are going to be and then when we have that selected we're going to click get all files it will give us all the files on the rich text box okay but in order to do that we're going to need to do a string variable and then we're going to do a path we're going to call this root path and then equals to 
so whatever so we have right here the text box right we're going to pass that in here text box one that text so that's the path so whatever um, Ruth path we're going to pass in the it, it, it will it will for that button to work we're, we're going to do that okay. oh my that makes sense just let me know if that makes sense it makes sense in my head all right so we're going to do a bar files equals from file in we're going to use a directory directory uh, directory that we're going to use the function n num and enumerate and not a how many enumerate files and right here we're going to pass our root path okay and then we're going to say select select just lowercase file so this enumerate files what is doing this is it, this method will get uh, a collection of matching file names on the on the uh, root path where, where the folder that we choose so let's give me the red squiggly let's see Share potential fixes. I think I'm. Um, yeah, I need a using system dial. IO. Okay. So that's cool. Now, right here, we're going to create another variable by the name file string equals. We're going to use a stream interpolation right here. And we're going to say list. All files. I want to say environ environment that new line. Okay. S close that with semicolon, and then we're, we're going to need the counter of the files num equals zero. Okay. And then we're going to have, <coughs> excuse me, reach text box one. That text equals to file string. Okay. Now, now we need the for each. We're going to have a variable by the name file, and and we're going to get the files, right? Open and, and cool the brackets, and then um, right here we're going to have the uh, rich text box that text. to have a plus sign equals and then here we're going to be passing we're going to do a stream interpolation too and right here we're going to have a file this file right here because that's where all the files are and we're going to get all of those files we're passing that file and then we're going to do um, they're going to give us we're going to be adding all the files that we have in here and we're going to use the uh, environment new line again what does environment new line do is like it goes to the next line that's what it does 
I call it just a more sophisticated term. You know, sometimes you use just the, the uh, forward, is that back slash and then the N, right, for the new line. But this one, it works really well within C sharp, new line. Okay. We might need one more of this. Let's just copy that. And then let's close it right. I mean, just to end with the semicolon. Okay. And now, right here, so we can count how many files do we have. Bam, right there. Okay. And one last thing is we get a rich text box that append text. And we're going to do a stream interpolation right here too. And total files. <clears throat> num. I'm going to pass a num. Oh my, just lowercase. No, no uppercase. Total files. files okay and then we're going to be doing another environment new line copy I don't think it's necessary but just in case you know all right so I think that's all we need let's run the program and see what we have okay this is the moment we're true let's uh choose a file, a folder, let's just do our document, right, let's do OK, I have my document, get all files, OK, I got a list of files, I got a bunch of files right there, I got 340, OK, let's uh, pick another one, our download, let's go right here, downloads, Okay, I have it downloaded, get all files, it updates it, and then I have 193 files. So let's do one more. Uh, what else do we have in here? Let's do, do I have pictures? There's not even pictures in there. Let's see. I, mean, I don't know what else. Let's see. Movies? So we have in movies. Yeah, I don't have too many files. Yeah, those are the two folders that have a bunch of files, but the other ones I don't. Yeah, but anyway, so that's pretty good. So that's pretty much what we did with this uh, tutorial or this video. Hopefully this helped you out. And please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. All right, guys. Have a good night and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.